We just started a new year of 2023, and many people have made a new year resolution. But based on the statistics, only about eight percent of people can actually keep it or achieve their goal. Rest of them will fail. Why is it so difficult to keep the New Year resolution? Is there any way we can solve this problem? Welcome to Dr. Yang's Health Talk. Health is our number one asset. Let's take good care of it together. Let's look at what New Year resolution really means to us. It means we're going to make some change in our behavior. We're going to do something different. We want to improve ourselves. So if making changes is easy, and the world will be totally different, and ourself would have been totally different. So making change is not easy because change is not only bring you what you want. It also bring you what you do not want. Let me give you an example. Everybody want to be successful in what they're doing. Once you feel successful and you feel great, but what does it take to be successful? It could be hard working. You have to work harder than you ever have done before. That also means you have to give up something you like to do, and you may have to do something you don't like to do. You have to do whatever it takes to become successful, right? That's hard. Also, it means you're going to be different. Even when you become successful, you will stand out. You can be vulnerable. People can be jealous of you, and because of jealousy, they could do something to hurt you or harm you, and that generates a lot of fear. If you ever tried to be different, or try to stand out, or work hard but suffered physically and emotionally as a result of it, trust me. You may terribly want to be successful in your head, but deep in your heart and your gut, you don't want to do that. Then what happens? You find yourself procrastinating, even sabotaging what you want to achieve, without even realizing that. That's the real reason that we can't keep our New Year resolution. Let me give you an example. I have met a young man who was handsome, tall, but very heavy. And he suffered from obesity. Every year he made New Year resolution that he wanted to lose weight, but every year he failed. Why? Because he told me he couldn't stop eating at night. It becomes such a habit that's hard to give up. On the surface, you can give him a hundred reasons that he should not be eating at night, right? We all have those knowledge, and we can teach people that. But somehow it doesn't change anything because his behavior. Is driven by physical and emotional desire. So, what is the underlying issue with him that he couldn't give up eating at night? First of all, eating at night is something he wants to do. It helps him to feel good temporarily, to reduce his stress. And giving that up, meaning he has to stop doing what he wants to do, and he was very upset about that idea. So he's not upset just about giving up eating. He's upset that he has to stop doing what he likes to do. That anger would be enough to prevent him from stop eating at night. However, that anger was not just anger that happens to his food, but anger he has accumulated for a long period of time as he growing up, because he had a very strict father who keep asking him to do what he didn't want to do or ask him. To stop doing what he wanted to do, that anger has been with him all his life without realizing it. So you can see the negative emotion is more than a reaction to what he wants to do now. It has also activated the emotional memory and the physical memory from the past. That makes change very difficult. You must want to know what happened to this young man. Did we help him? And I will tell you that story later. Please subscribe to my channel. You will not miss future videos. Of course, cognitively, we can give you a lot of tips. That's what you get when you go go online. You know, for example, make a small goals. You know, don't try to achieve overnight. You have to be persistent. You have to enjoy the small accomplishments, and you have to develop habits and so on and so forth. 
trust me, if those methodology can help you change your behavior or achieving your New Year's goal, we all have been very, very different and successful. What really block us is something we are not even aware of, is our physical and emotional memory that is associated with what our New Year resolution would entail or involve. How do we identify those negative physical and emotional factors that are blocking us from achieving our goals? We're going to demonstrate that in our next video. Stay tuned. Please share with us your New Year resolution and your struggle to achieving it and your suggestion or your success story with us in the comment section. Dr. Yang's Health Talk, we'll see you next time.